Rolling. Rolling. Guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Nikon Z6 as well as show you some videos about the Nikon Z6 as well. So, the Nikon Z6 is a photography camera and a video camera as well. I don't know how long it films for, but it's a video camera. And it's really good. The pictures on the Nikon Z6 is really good. And um, it's quite expensive. It costs about £2,000 or £3,000. But you can go online and you can check for the Nikon Z6 filmmaker's kit. And you can get like a filmmaker's kit which gives you like a tripod, a a glass and what I mean by glass I mean the lens as well and other stuff that you can use when you're doing filmmaking so we're gonna check a couple of videos out on YouTube I've set some couple of videos so that we can check them out and these videos are really good and I will leave a link down in the description to these and videos so you can check out the full videos as well we're gonna skip through the videos and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. So I just finished filming my short film. If you guys have not watched it, stop what you're doing. Stop. No, literally stop. Check out the link down below in the description. Check it out. It was a ton of fun filming it. So what I did was I partnered up with Nikon to promote their competition called Follow Your Passion. I was given the opportunity to follow my passion, which is filmmaking, cars, kind of bring all that together. And what I want to do with you guys is bring you along to my journey on my passion of filmmaking. Show you how I use the Nikon Z6 with the filmmakers kit to create this amazing short film so without further ado let's go ahead and begin so as I said before filmmaking is a big passion of mine now no matter what you decide to do your video on whether it's filmmaking a documentary it really doesn't matter pre-production is essential to making sure that on the day of your shoot everything goes smoothly so for example in our short film we had a lot of difficult stunts and it was important that we had a lot of pre-production and planning so on the day of the shoot our talent felt comfortable and was able to perform these stunts without having to really hold us back in production so one of the big advantages that we had with using the Nikon Z6 mirrorless system is the fact that it's a full frame camera and it doesn't have any crop, not even in 4K. So the benefit of this is a lot of times we were filming in very tight quarters. For example, there was a dialogue scene in the car and we were able to use lenses like 50 millimeter, which just gives us a more cinematic look that normally you cannot achieve if you're using a camera that has a super 35 millimeter sensor or even APS see so having that full frame mirrorless camera and being able to put it in situ Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is a real world review of the Nikon Z6. Now Nikon took us down to Orlando, Florida, where we had the opportunity to play with the Nikon Z6 to shoot both stills and shoot video to capture portraits and to go to Disney. So let's go have some fun. The first photo shoot that Nikon took us on was to a place called Wild Florida, which was where we got on airboats to photograph wildlife like birds and more birds and then alligators. And my hope was not to fall out and get eaten by alligators, and I survived. Except I Nikon has gone ahead and changed the mount from the F mount to a larger Z mount that they hope is here for the next 
hundred years. Now that means that you can't natively put on your F mount lenses right on to the Z6 or the Z7. In order to do that, you need what's called the F to Z adapter, which runs 250 bucks. Now with that being said, I've adapted a ton of my F mount lenses without issue to this adapter. You don't lose any functionality. It focuses just like it would focus on any of your other cameras. There are no moving or mechanical parts inside of the adapter. All it's doing is basically making up for the flange distance between the mirrorless cameras and a DSLR. Now there is one interesting issue. If you shoot on a tripod or a monopod and you go from having the plate on the camera and then you put the adapter on, you're gonna need to take the plate off to put the plate onto the adapter because they don't match up and they don't sit flush. So that's just a pain in the ass if you need to change your plates off. And the Nikon Z6, the price goes for £1,839. But you can get a filmmaker's kit, might, but the filmmaker's kit might be a bit more. But that camera is really good, especially when filming as well. It's really good as well. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for another video. Don't you guys like this setup? I mean, I've got my Avantes at the back over here. I've got my laptop over here. And I've got this chair over here. And I've got everything. And over here, I've got a, I forgot what it's called, a reflector. And I've got lightning at the back. And I've got my camera microphone over there. Makes everything looks really professional. I like this kind of setup.